Hi everyone, I kind of want to go over the top five reasons that you would have telogen effluvium and kind of go over why. So if you're having massive amounts of hair shedding, this is called telogen effluvium and I have a whole video on that if you want to go check that out. So the top five reasons are hormones. Number one is hormones. So if you are going through menopause um, or even if you're younger, this includes hormone shifts that are changing because you are changing your birth control. So on and off birth control, putting an IUD in, changing your birth control, this can be a trigger for telogen effluvium. So it's a good idea to ask your doctor. There are certain um, birth controls that will um, are actually known to cause hair loss. So asking your physician about those is a great idea before you um, start or stop something. So another thing is, is just a drastic change. This could be a death in the family. This could be a severe illness that you had. If you had surgery and were under anesthesia, this can cause TE. If you um, extreme diet or exercise uh, routine that you've switched up, if you started smoking or vaping, or um, are getting more toxins in your system, this could be a reason for your TE as well. So the third one is medication, on or off medication, whether it is for, if it's antidepressants, if you have been taking anti-acids for your whole life and you stopped um, or, or started taking anti-acids, um, and any type of blood pressure medications, heart medications for sure, diabetes medications, all of these start or stopping can cause telogen effluvium. So the body is just reacting and trying to put out those fires and to heal the body from what's happening inside. And I always say it, our hair is not a vital organ. Our body really doesn't care about our hair. So it is trying to heal everything in the body first and before it's giving your hair oxygen and nutrients. Number four is your gut health. So if you were on antibiotics for a certain amount of time, um, it actually takes two years for your gut health to kind of get back to normal after a week or two of antibiotics. So this can cause a telogen effluvium as well. Um, Crohn's, if you've been diagnosed with Crohn's or Graves, um, anything that has to do with the gut, this could cause telogen effluvium. Also, the fifth one is stress. So stress is the hardest one, right? Because if other things are happening in the body and some of us don't even know we're under stress, I feel like I've had a lot more clients coming in recently with telogen effluvium um, because of COVID and after COVID. So just trying to do something every day that will release that stress um, and anything that you can to keep that stress under control is going to help. It's going to help your hair. We actually have stress receptors in our hair. And so we need to keep our stress down as well. So those are the five top reasons. There's plenty and a lot of other reasons that you could be having that rapid hair shedding, but those are the top five and it would be great to see a physician or a dermatologist or a trichologist in your area to figure out that trigger and what's going on because you need to fix the trigger and that will slow down that shedding process. Okay. I hope that helps you guys. Talk to you soon.